singing today because today we are celebrating four years of me being natural. That is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe time has flown by as quick as it has. Oh, it's just been such an amazing journey. So we're gonna go over a beautiful recap of the last kind of four years or so. You know, my little mindset, like how it has changed from year one to two to three to four. And then more importantly, we are gonna dig into some really deep, deep things my natural hair journey has taught me. I'm talking about things like way deeper than just kind of hair you know what i mean so i'm very very excited to kind of dig into all of that it's just gonna be a nice little chit chat with me as we celebrate my four year big shop anniversary so let's just go ahead and get into it so i made notes on my phone there's literally so much that i want to say and i want to make sure that i'm not going to be missing out on anything because there's just so much to talk about there's so much to say i personally have so much love for my natural hair journey it is the best thing that I've ever done and the crazy thing is I always say this like I never actually ever had full intentions of going natural until a couple months before I actually big chopped so it was crazy I was just going through a, oh let's see this let's just try this blah 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 but even up to a year before I big chopped I was still very much that girl with fully relaxed long straight hair that was healthy seeming like it was fine it didn't really cause me any issues you know um, and I was that girl where I was just like, hell no, I'm not going natural. And look at me four years later. A lot of you actually have been with me for the entire journey. Actually, you know what? Comment below if you have been here on my YouTube channel since my big chop. It's like it's like a journey we've been on together, you know? So I feel like we all deserve to kind of celebrate together. So comment below so I can see you. Oh, that's so, oh, I have a special place in my heart for y'all who have been here from the beginning. Y'all have seen me grow. Like y'all have seen the growth. I'm not just talking about hair growth. <laughs> so I big chops and I was just super excited to see what my hair was gonna be like. I had no idea because I relaxed when I was very, very young and then obviously spent the majority of my life with relaxed straight hair. So I was just excited to see what my curls are like, what can they do, and having it grow from so short and just experiencing it at every stage. Like they went from spiral to S curls, like there were so many changes that I got to see with my hair and I feel like that was really important to me. Like that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad I started my natural hair journey with a big chop because I really and truly know my hair just because because I have seen it change as it grew and all of that stuff. But yeah, I just remember my number one goal was growth, like growth, growth, growth. I just really wanted to see what it was like once it was long. I never had that, you know what I mean? Not since I was young. So I really actually genuinely could not remember what my own natural hair looked like. Isn't that crazy? Like saying that out loud is really, really crazy. So yeah, Big Chop's still one of the best decisions I've ever made and growing it out like from the get-go, Big Chop and then also kind of growing it out into my mini little TWA was probably one of my favorite times. So much fun and she's cute. I felt so confident back then and I just remember that light like turning on my head like like I love me and it was me discovering my truest self kind of in that moment and uh, I just remember feeling so free and just so happy and just so so pretty yeah I had a lot of fun and I think it was around was it during it was either yeah I think it was around year two maybe 1.5 to two years I then started playing around with highlights. That's when I first got my Pintura highlights. So it was still pretty early on, actually. When I look back, I was like, dang, I actually colored my hair pretty early on. <laughs> um, so, and then I went the rest of that time up until just recently when I decided to go back to my natural hair color. Um, I went that entire time with color in my hair. But yeah, I just, I just had tons and tons of fun along the way so if you are watching me right now and thinking about being on your natural hair journey if you ask me for advice i would just say have fun with it that's like the number one thing because when i look back on my journey i think about the fun that i had and i just smile thinking back 
to it. I feel happy about it because I made it fun. Now recently, I would say ever since I started creating content full time. So when I quit my full time job, left Cayman and moved up here to Atlanta to further my content creation career, uh, that is when I feel like I started not having as much fun with my natural hair journey. And it's that's a normal thing to happen. I feel like, you know, when you have a passion and you do something just because you love it and then you, you turn it into making money, which is great. That's amazing. That's always the goal is to find a passion and find a way to make money for it. And you know, they say you'll never work a day in your life. They low key lied when they said that because I'd be working. But there is like, it changes your relationship with your passion. We have brand sponsorships with huge brands like Sephora, there's pressure, there's money on the line here, like people are paying you real money to do this right. Like it just, it just changes the relationship a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I am, I'm beyond thankful that I get to do this as a living. This right here is a dream that I am living. I dreamt about this and now I'm living it and I thank God every single day for it. But all I mean is just the relationship had changed a little bit and so it just felt like I personally wasn't really having as much fun anymore and also it started to feel like the journey was over because kind of I reached my length goal and I wasn't even super happy with it anyways. Um, and so I was kind of just like, okay, what now? Kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like I spent the whole last two to three years saying, okay, let's go, let's go, grow, 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 grow. And then I grew it to a point where I didn't even like it anymore. And then it's like, okay, what's that? So it was only up until the 3.5 journey, 3.5 years in my journey, so basically this year, 2021, around summertime, where I was just like, what is happening? I was like, wait a minute, when did we change? Like, when did we become so obsessed with growth to the point that we're still growing even though we're not happy with it? So I was able to intellectualize that and then kind of switch my, my mindset back to the girl I was back on the first year of my natural hair journey where I was just literally having fun with it. While, yes, I was still technically like growing it, growing was still the goal for me back then, but it was making me happy at that time. When the growth no longer made me happy, that's when I really had to switch things up. So that's when I made the decision to trap again, again, again. And I have not been this happy since back then. So I'm very, 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 <laughs> very happy um, that I cut it, as you guys know. You guys already know this. But yeah, this is my way of kind of saying, no, we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna get back to having fun with our hair. We are going to step away from all the seriousness of it, because that's not why I did it in the first place. That's not what I enjoyed about it in the first place. It was just fun. So that's really where I'm at now with my natural hair journey. We just having fun. We're doing whatever feels good. And tomorrow growth might be fun to me. And then next week chopping again might be fun to me. You know what I mean? I am, I'm very free spirited. So I'm literally just feeling how I feel every single day. And I'm just, I'm just going with the flow with my hair. There's no more pressure to grow. I've released all the pressure, all the seriousness, and we just gonna have fun. And I'm very excited. I, I feel like I have breathed new life into my natural hair journey, honestly. There are so many things that I have learned at this stage. Right now, sitting at four years, I have learned a lot, especially this year. I feel like I've done some serious personal growth. Um, oh, it makes me a little emotional because I'm literally so, pr I'm just so proud of myself and who I'm becoming. And a lot of the things that I've learned and kind of grown through is kind of tied a little bit to my natural hair journey. You're all about to see what I mean. So first, the first thing is that I've learned, as I said, to just not take things too seriously and not just kind of limit that to, oh, don't take your natural hair journey too seriously. No, like don't take life too overly seriously. I'm a, I'm a type A personality. I love to plan things. I love to constantly be doing things. This is why I love my entrepreneurship. I just like to kind of go, go, go. And sometimes I can tend to take life too seriously. Like if things don't go as planned, I feel like we were all humbled last year, right? So um, I've learned through my natural hair journey and also through this journey that we're all going on together <laughs> in this new upside down world 
that life is not meant to be taken too seriously. You're just meant to have fun. So I've learned to just kind of adapt as things happen, things change, decisions are made, and we just we just keep going. That right there was a huge like a mindset 180 for me. Completely, we flipped pancake. Like that is not how I was before. And this kind of brings me on to the second thing that I want to tell you guys that I learned, which is how to listen to my inner voice. That thing is quiet. That is, it's real quiet, okay? But it's there. Your internal voice, your true feelings, your true thoughts about things, what truly makes you happy. You really have to put in extra intentional effort to truly listen to your inner voice. You guys know I did that video right before I chopped my hair and I told you guys I just wasn't happy with it anymore. It was, I was feeling like it was damaged and it just, it wasn't giving for me anymore. Do you know? Then when I made a decision to actually go ahead and make the appointment, chop my hair, I messaged my stylist, Crystal, and I said, look, we're chopping, okay? Um, when I did all of that, all I could hear was what I thought society was going to tell me. Things like, no, you're giving up on your journey. No, you got to keep growing. Why would you dare cut your hair? Don't you, do like literally those were all the voices that I heard after I knew that I had made a decision that would genuinely make me happy. All I could hear was society. Our inner voice is real quiet, but society is just so loud. It's so loud. Um, so I've learned how to kind of tune that out take a step back, go chill in like a quiet place, sleep on it, and really and truly listen to my gut, my inner voice, and truly, truly just try to actually hear how I actually feel. And that, that's big for me because by nature, I am also a people pleaser. So it's been a journey, another mindset shift, massive for me. If there's honestly one of the biggest things that I've learned is that right there because that has actually changed my life. <laughs> like this is one of those things that transcends far deeper than just hair. This is making sure that you're good and that you you are genuinely happy with the life that you are creating. You know what I mean? Another thing I've learned is that simple is good. I feel like for a long time black hair was just seen as complicated within itself. So then you start your journey thinking that it's complicated and then you feel like because your hair is complicated, you need a complicated routine to go along. No, simple is actually good. It's the best, okay? I do three product wash and goes now. Shampoo, conditioner, gel, that is it. And that's something that has also transcended from my natural hair journey into my actual personal life. I try to keep things simple. Because I'm a planner and an entrepreneur, I can kind of make life complicated for myself sometimes but I have learned to kind of sit back and be like, no, how can we simplify this and make things better but still be effective? You know what I mean? So simple is good. Don't feel like you need a whole complicated kind of thing going on, whether it's with your hair or even in your personal life. Simple is good. Another thing I've learned, natural hair is dope. It is dope. Okay, it's dope. I don't care what your natural hair looks like. Is it straight? Is it wavy? Is it kinky? Is it coily? Is it S curl? Or whatever it is, it is dope. You know why? Because everybody's different. And even when we talk just about like curly hair, everybody's curls are different. Even if you're like me, like everybody likes to type me as 3C4A, right? Everybody within my 3C4A category, every single woman has different hair than me. And I just think that is so dope. We are all so different and we rock our hair in different ways. Like women who have their hair, it's still long, but it also is still able to stick up in the air. There's people who like to wear their hair super slicked back. There's people who like to wear their hair super long and do multiple different things to it. There's people who rock these amazing bright colors. There's just so many types of curls, so many ways to wear it and I love to see it. I get so much life from that. Like when y'all tag me in your photos of doing my styles or whatever, like I just get so much life from it because we, that's dope. Like that's dope. Like it's a really dope community to be a part of. And you know what, you get to have your own specific journey, your own specific routine that is true to you. Because like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's curls are different. Everybody wants like a different outcome from their hair and everybody's hair is going to respond differently to different things and I just I think that's exciting because everybody gets 
we get to have our own our own relationship with our own hair that nobody else in this world has you know what I mean like that's a privilege that's exciting and it's just dope I love that so that kind of brings me to my final point which I kind of feel like I hit a little bit earlier which is the journey is fun when you let it be that's it right there that's a quote <laughs> and like when I say journey I'm not even talking about just a natural hair journey of course natural hair journey is included in that but any type of journey is it a weight loss journey is it a self-discovery journey it's fun if you just let it be. Just kind of, like I said, take off the stress of trying to listen to society or overcomplicate things or take things too seriously. Like take all of that away. And again, listen to your inner voice and just let the journey be fun. And I promise you, if you start every single day with gratitude, there's not going to be anything that can take you off of that journey. I'm just all about protecting the peace and I hope that I can kind of inspire you guys to do the same. I'm just happy and I just, I want to share that with you. I want to share that with you and I want you guys to experience the happy as well. Happy four years along this journey to us. Like I said, we've been on this together and it's just, it continues to just be so, so much fun. I am beyond grateful for your continuous support. Wow. I'm starting to cry a little bit. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I genuinely, I would not be here if it weren't for you guys. And getting your DMs and seeing your comments and just like, I, I genuinely love you guys so much. My internet fam, y'all have a special place in my heart. <laughs> and I'm trying not to cry because I do not want to ruin this makeup. Um, but seriously, I'm just, I'm so thankful for you guys. It's been an amazing journey and it's not over yet, okay? Here we go. <laughs> so cheers to many, many more years together along this fun journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe check out my Instagram for a little surprise giveaway. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know I take any excuse to celebrate. Okay, so make sure you enter the giveaway over there. And yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Whew, we got emotional. I'm trying to like shake it off now. I love y'all so much. If you are new, I love I love you. I love all of you. New, old, all, all the things. Everybody. <laughs> but if you are new, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also the like button before you leave. That way you will never miss out on a new video ever again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.